नमस्कार दिस इज विक्रम सिंह किरण सिंह चौहान पीजीटी फिजिक्स नंद विद्या निकेतन जामनगर वेलकम यू ऑल इन आर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ स्पीड एंड वेलोसिटी एंड द इंपॉर्टेंट कंसेप्ट ऑफ एक्सेलेशन एक्सेलेशन कैन बी ऑफ टू टाइप्स it can be of constant nature constant acceleration is called as uniform acceleration and if the acceleration is not constant it is changing with respect to time then we call it as non uniform acceleration now when the body are in motion with the constant acceleration then we can relate the initial velocity final velocity of the body time distance covered by the body in this particular time with certain equations these equations are called as kinematic equations or also known as equations of motion but when will we apply them yes when the acceleration is constant equations of motion are applicable when acceleration of the body of a body is constant or uniform now this is not the case that when the acceleration is not constant or it is changing then we cannot apply the equations of motion but their preciseness slightly varies the results may vary when the acceleration is non uniform so let us start with the equations of motion there are three equations of motion first one first equation of motion is called as velocity time relation and it is written as v is equals to u plus a into t this is the first kinematic equation v equals to u plus a t or final velocity is equal to initial velocity plus acceleration into time then the second relation the second relation is called as position time relation position time relation and the equation is displacement s or distance covered by the body 
S is equals to U T plus one by two A into T square. We will read it. S equals to ut plus half a t square. S equals to ut plus half a t square. And the third relation is position velocity relation. The third equation of motion is also called as position velocity relation and it is written as V square is equals to U square plus 2 A S. Once again, I'll repeat for you. The first one is velocity time relation. V equals to U plus AT. Second is position time relation. This is S equals to UT plus half AT square. And third is position velocity relation. It is V square is equals to U square plus 2 A S. These are the three equations that we generally use when the acceleration of a body is constant. I will just write once again what are the quantities here. V is final velocity. Final velocity of the body or the object in motion U is initial velocity of the body in motion. T is the time interval the time in which the body is accelerated or it is covering the distance or it is getting stopped it will be mentioned in the question so T is the time interval S is the distance or displacement distance or displacement when we are talking about the linear motion the object is moving along a straight line magnitude of displacement and the distance both are equal that's why we can call it as displacement or distance displacement of the body in given time in time interval t a is the constant acceleration or uniform acceleration given to the body So, these are the terms involved in the three kinematic equations. Once again, I am repeating at any point 
If someone asks you the kinematic equations, you should mention that V equals to U plus AT, S equals to UT plus half AT square and V square equals to U square plus 2AS. These are the three kinematic equations that we are going to apply in different situations, different questions we will try to solve based on the same. So now let us solve some numericals based on the three kinematic equations. I am learning this. Now let us keep these three equations here. And let us solve the first question. A car starts from rest find its velocity or speed since the motion is along a straight line find its velocity in 5 seconds after it is given an acceleration of 1 meter per second square. Now let us write the given terms here, given data here. Given terms are first as initial velocity. The car is starting from rest. That means the initial velocity is zero. Final velocity we are supposed to calculate. Time is given to us. T is given to us. It is five seconds. And acceleration is given to us A, that is 1 meter per second square constant. We are supposed to calculate the final velocity V. So let us calculate it. Which equation can we apply here? Yes, we can use velocity time relation V equals to U plus A into T. So using First kinematic equation we get V equals to U plus A into T initial velocity is 0 given to us plus acceleration is given 1 into time is given 5 seconds. The final velocity will come 0 plus 5 that is 5 meter per second. The velocity of the car after 5 seconds will be 5 meter per second. Remember the unit carries half path here so we will always mention the unit Whatever our final answer is there, we will mention its unit, magnitude is there and unit is there. Now, in this way, we can find out the acceleration of a body, we can find out the initial or final velocity of the body using a single relation V equals to U plus A into T. Now, suppose in the same question, if this was the part A, and the second part is given to us
the second part of this question is given to us like what is the distance covered by the car in this time if this was the part a and this is part b say then how to calculate the distance covered u v t a are now with us u was given t was given a also given but we had calculated final velocity v here so we can use both the equations equation second equation position time relation or position velocity relation i'll show you both how to use both of them see the distance covered we are supposed to calculate that means using second kinematic equation s equals to ut plus half a into t square S is the distance covered or displacement occurred. So S equals to U into T. This will become zero since U is zero. U is zero. Zero multiplied by five. We are going to get zero plus half A into T square. A is given to us. It is one and T is given five U square. So let us solve it. This will come as. 1 by 2 into 1 into 25 or 25 by 2 the distance covered by the body by the car in this time is 12.5 meters here we had used second kinematic equation now we can calculate the distance covered by using third kinematic equation also let us see using third kinematic equation third kinematic equation v square is equals to u square plus 2 a s i like v we had calculated v is v square v is 5 so we can write 5 square is equals to 0 square it is going to come as 0 only 2 into a into s this will come 25 Is equals to zero plus two s. That is twenty five is equals to two into s. So we get two s is equals to twenty five. S equals to twenty five by two. S is equals to twelve point five meters. You can check. Both answers are correct. That means we can use any one of the two equations to calculate the distance covered by the body or displacement occurred in the body during the time given to us. Using second kinematic equation or using third kinematic equation, our answer is not going to change. If you are having the correct approach the answer is going to remain same here in india in france in germany or in any other country wherever you are following the same approach 
Your answer for the first part is up to this. The final velocity we had calculated here. Answer for the second question: What is the distance covered by the car in this time? Is simply this much or this much? Follow any one of the method, either the first one or the second. We are not supposed to calculate both the uh, the distance covered using both the equations. Only use one of the equations. I hope you have understood the concept of the three kinematic equations, and we have used all the three kinematic equations in single question. One, two, and three. Now let us see how to use the retardation. If the acceleration of a body is negative, then what is going to happen in our three kinematic equations? Let us see. I am having this. Now let us take one question in which the final velocity is less than the initial velocity. A scooter moving with speed. Ten meter per second ten meter per second is stopped by applying brakes. In time four seconds, the brakes were applied, and it took the time of four seconds to get stopped. Find the acceleration I will take this as find the acceleration A, B, retardation, and C, find the distance covered in this time. Find the distance covered in this time. That is during the time of getting stopped. Question is simple. Let us find out what are the given terms here. Speed is given to us. This is also the initial speed. So write down the given data first. Initial velocity u is equals to 10 meter per second. Final velocity. Is indirectly given in the question. You can see here the scooter is getting stopped. That means the final velocity is zero. The body is at rest, they will have zero velocity. So the final velocity V is equal to zero meter per second. And we have been given time t. T is four seconds. What are we supposed to calculate? We are supposed to calculate acceleration A 
रिटार्डेशन एंड डिस्टर्स का वर्ड एस सो लेट एस कैलकुलेट द एक्सेलेशन फर्स्ट यूजिंग फर्स्ट कैनामेटिक इक्वेशन using first kinematic equation we get v equals to u plus a into t that is a equals to v minus u upon t answer will be v is zero minus u it was given 10 meter per second so we will take 10 divided by The time is four seconds. That is minus ten divided by four. Acceleration is minus two point five meter per second square. The first part of the question is solved here. We had calculated the acceleration. It is two minus two point five meter per second square. And retardation is minus of acceleration negative of acceleration then retardation will be equal to minus of minus 2.5 meter per second square so this will come as plus 2.5 meter per second square this is the retardation retardation of the scooter then the third part c distance covered in this time can be calculated using any one of the two equations second equation second kinematic equation or third kinematic equation since we are having v u a and t let us take the third kinematic equation using third kinematic equation v square is equals to u square plus 2 as v is final velocity and it was zero so we will take v zero square or only zero a is equal to u it was given to us it is 10 meter per second so we will get 10 square plus 2 what about acceleration acceleration is minus 2.5 meter per second square so we will need to write we will have to write this minus 2.5 meter per second square multiplied by distance distance we are supposed to calculate here so this will come as 0 100 minus 5 s 2.5 into 2 we will get 5 into s so clearly this i will bring towards left hand side so 5 s is equals to 100 Gives us s is equals to 100 by 5. That is 20 meters. In this way, we can use the three kinematic equations. We can apply them in real life situations. We can apply them in the questions given to us to solve in this way. i hope you have understood the concept of three kinematic equations derivatively i have not taken the derivation of the three kinematic equations here we will study the graph representation of motion uh, representation of motion using graphical method and then we can derive the three kinematic equations using the graph between velocity and time 
But the the three kinematic equations are very very important in physics. They are applicable in uh, in physics in many situations. Now they have entered in your life, and they will remain in your life for the whole life. I hope you have understood the concept. I'll give you one question to solve, so that you will be able to answer. Uh, you will be able to apply the three kinematic equations. The question for your homework is. A body moving with speed twenty meter per second is stopped I'll take it, I'll change this part T is stopped is Brought to speed of four meter per second in time of four seconds. Why application? of the brakes find the acceleration find the retardation and find the distance covered in this 4 seconds of time you follow the similar method i am learning this this is your question for the homework for your practice try to solve the question find out acceleration first then find out the retardation and the third part to find the distance covered, you try both the equations, second kinematic equation as well as third kinematic equation. Verify that your answer is correct or not. If both the equations they are giving you correct answer, then definitely you have understood the concept. So by the time this is Vikram Sia Kiras Sia Chauhan, take your leave. In next module, in next video, we will study about the graphical representation of motion. Thank you. Thank you.